Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Ellen Gettleman, who is the executive director of Belmont World Films. The Belmont World Films is about to begin the 18th annual Family Film Festival. Ellen, uh, welcome to News Now. Thanks for joining us. Can you tell us uh, what's about to start? Next Friday, January 15th, uh, it starts, uh, it's always during Martin Luther King Day weekend, but this year we're going uh, full 10 days to allow people to you know, watch at their leisure. It's a totally virtual event. So uh, and you can watch when, whenever you want, wherever you've expanded you want. It. You've expanded it from four days to 10 days. Can you tell us the thinking behind that? Well, um, you know, usually the festival is takes place in a theater, uh, at one theater, and you can go from film to film to film and just, you know, just keep watching them. But um, with the virtual festival, there's really no need to have a set time because people have busy schedules. So, um, you know, to allow people who have, you know, I mean, everybody's plates are way more full now than they were. Well, yes and no. <laughs> Sometimes some people's plates are more full with other things, especially if you have kids. Um, they, uh, you know, you might not be able to watch a film at a specific time. You know, uh, I know a lot of parents are juggling, um, juggling childcare responsibilities, work, and so they may not have the same amount of time that they would have in, under normal circumstances. So we're doing this so that um, people can have two weekends to watch films and, um, and you know, and also, uh, you know, I doubt people are going to watch, do a lot of watching during the week. So it's essentially two weekends. But if they want to watch during the week, if it's a snow day or they're um, feeling particularly stressed out, these films can really li help lift their spirits. The uh, film festival that's being presented uh, in the next couple of weeks is the Family Film Festival. Uh, it is directed toward uh, kids ages three through three, tw 12, three, as I remember. Three and their through families. 12, although we ha do have one, um, one workshop that could, you know, could be for high school kids too. Uh, it's a junior film criticism workshop uh, with Joyce Culhaywick and Ty Burr from the Boston Globe. So that could be for high school students, uh, you know, up to age 17, I would imagine. And uh, we do have some workshops with um, Ardman Animation, the Wallace and Gromit cr uh, creators. And uh, you can make clay models of Gromit and um, Sean the Sheep. And that's actually for age five to adult. So uh, if you really want to learn how to like model with clay and model those specific characters and, and um, you know, hear from the chief animator, actually he's not the chief, he's the chief model maker for the Wallace and Gromit films. Um, that would be your chance to like find out in, insider information. So that's really for any age. And, and, and the films, quite frankly, well, maybe I'm just a child at heart, but the films are for people of any age too, in my opinion. And we talk about the film festival being from, uh, th well, for going for 10 days, uh, how do, but it's virtual. How do people access it? Yes, so it's, it's completely uh, accessible online. Um, if you buy your ticket in, the, in advance, then you will, um, you'll get a confirmation and there'll be a link to when the festival starts, there'll be a link that you can um, go to to watch the film. Uh, and um, if you're doing any of the workshops, we'll be sending uh, people links for those as well. And, um, and the live Q&As are part of the, the films. So you will be receiving links for those as well. So um, if all goes well, cross fingers crossed, um, you know, people will be able to watch, um, to watch the films uh, whenever they want. And, uh, you know, that an important thing to remember is that, um, most people are used to watching things on their phone, but um, you could watch on your phone, but we really advise that you watch on a, some, like a laptop or even connecting with an HDMI cable, or if you have a smart TV, um, to watching straight 
on your TV. It's probably the best way to um, participate in the festival. Now, there are really three different types of activities, as I understand it. There are the, uh, the family films, there are the workshops, but then you've uh, uh, gotten some very well-known uh, producers uh, to uh, work with Q&A sessions after a film. Well, we have the directors, yeah. Or um, the filmmakers, I don't yeah, know, producers, filmmakers, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were actually, you know, it's really challenging putting on a virtual festival when you're, most of your filmmakers are from around the world. And um, so we're, we're actually, um, I, we may actually add another Q&A with a filmmaker. We're working on that now, but it's been, it's been very challenging. And, um, but yeah, so we, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting to have them. I, the one, they're both, the, one, the two that we're doing, the Q&As are pretty interesting. One of them is called Microplastic Madness. And the filmmakers Atsuku Quirk and Debbie Cohen um, have this whole organization uh, that is trying to reduce single-use plastic. And this film is actually about a fifth grade class in Brooklyn, New York, that uh, completely eliminates single-use plastics in their cafeteria, which is pretty extraordinary. And the other film is Kusasa, and it's about um, a team of uh, the Kusasa Stars, a soccer team in a poor section of, poor rural section of South Africa, who go on to participate in the Gothia Cup, which is the world's largest um, youth soccer tournament. And it's in Sweden. And uh, they make, well, I don't want to ruin it for you, but they go pretty far in the film. And this director, he's from South Africa as well. And it's a really interesting film of co-production with Chinese um, producers. And um, uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's got a real international flair to it. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it shows a lot of the, of the films in the festival actually show how if you have grit and determination, you can really accomplish pretty much anything. I mean, you know, it, need talent too, but, but a lot of, a lot of uh, success in life relates to perseverance. It seems this year with the, uh, the Family Film Festival that um, Belmont World Film has really obtained some films that haven't been seen before or haven't been seen in the, the US before. Can you talk about films making their, their premieres, their US premieres here in Belmont? Sure, or if I can remember which World ones Film are Festival? which. Um, I know that there's one film called Angel that's from the Netherlands. We have actually three films from the Netherlands and um, uh, one is called Angel. It's a pretty magical film. The, the Dutch are really into magic. They do a lot of magical films. Um, and that's having its, uh, I believe it's North American premiere actually. Um, and then uh, we're showing the East Coast premiere of a film, of my favorite film. It's a staff pick um, called Jackie and Oop Gem, which is about um, uh, Rembrandt's paintings of, ja of Oop Gem and her husband, a King Willem and Queen Anne, I believe. And their paintings, are, they go back and forth between the Louvre and the Rijksmuseum. And um, so these paintings are being unveiled in the Rijksmuseum and the curator of the, the, unveil of the exhibit, uh, daughter comes to the museum and after hours, the woman in the painting, Upjen, comes alive. And it's just, she's wearing, she looks like Ruth Bader Ginsburg with a hat and a, and a big fluffy black dress. Um, but she's lace collar and uh, she, uh, pardon me, she, she, um, she's coming in, she, a woman from the 1600s is uh, learning about, uh, you know, modern day things like phones and computers and even water, you know, water in the 1600s was considered poisonous. So uh, she prefers beer. So it's, it's my favorite film. Um, we uh, also have, uh, it's, it's not really, it's more of a New England premiere of Fahim, The Little Chess Prince, um, which is based on a true story. And I know a lot of people are really interested in chess right now because of the Queen's Gambit. So they couldn't have come along at a better time. And not to mention the fact that it uh, stars Gerard Depardieu, who's, you know, used to be a big heartthrob, but he's still a, a fantastic French actor. 
Um, so that's about a boy who um, flees Bangladesh with his father when he's eight. And he, they arrive in Paris and they seek asylum and they're initially refused asylum. And they sort of live on the lamb, but the boy is a child prodigy when it comes to chess and he's very determined. And Gerard J. Pradier plays a, a chess teacher who takes him in. And um, the boy goes on to become the under 12 chess champion of France. And it was, well, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's okay. a great story. It's a true story based on a true story, although it's a fictional, fictionalized film. Um, and then uh, another, another film, another Dutch film is called Summer with Rana. Uh, it's about a girl whose mother is actually a reporter and has to go to, um, to Syria for the summer to report on their civil war. And so she, the girl spends the summer with her grandmother in the Dutch countryside which happens to be near a, um, a, a refugee camp. And she meets a girl from Syria, a refugee, and together they help each other through the summer. Um, so. We, we talk about the, the film festival. Can families uh, sign up for individual films or do they need to sign up for the entire festival? How, oh, no, how no, does they, it work? You, you can either, um, you can buy individual tickets for films, but we also offer two passes. One is just a uh, film pass only pass. And that makes sense if you're gonna be watching at least three films and that's $40. And um, then we have a films and uh, a full festival pass that includes films and workshops and that's $60. And that's a great deal. If you're gonna attend at least two films and a workshop, it practically pays for itself. So, um, uh, yeah, so those are the, the two ways of participating. You, or you can participate in the workshop separately. You don't have to have a pass to participate in them. That's great. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, Roger. It's always a pleasure being we've been you. speaking. Uh, we've been sp speaking with Ellen Gittleman uh, with Belmont World Films. The Belmont Family Film Festival is going to be running uh, online, a virtual film festival from January 15th through January 24th of this year. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.